Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this is the second video in the how to, start, how to Solve a Star Manx video series. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve the edges of a Star Manx, which are actually equivalent to Pyramix Crystal Edges. And in discussing how to solve the edges, I'm also going to talk a little bit about commutator construction. So, the basic idea behind a commutator is that you can do some sequence of moves, we'll call it them X, so it can be one move or three moves or you know some sequence of moves, X that will isolate a piece, and then you can do other, some other sequence of moves, Y, that will replace that piece with a different piece, and then you can undo X and then undo Y. So that is X, Y, X inverse, Y inverse. And if you do that and you isolated just a, the, a single piece of the type you wanted to solve, then you can create a three cycle. And so this actually did create a three cycle. However, it is readily difficult to see the three cycle on the star mix because of these extra pieces. It sort of looks like I made a mess of this puzzle. So instead I'm going to switch over. These, these edges that we're interested in are pyramix crystal edges. And a pyramix crystal is a less crowded puzzle. So I'm going to switch over to a pyramix crystal. And I'll start out by discussing edges on the pyramix crystal. And then we'll switch back over to the star mix and we'll apply what we learn here and you'll see that it's really the same it just looks a little bit more confusing so again a, a commutator is trying to isolate a single piece so on the pyramix crystal and on the star minx it is it only takes one move to isolate a piece um, and so here we go so if I do a move I actually moved ten edges so five here and then five around here but I moved ten edges you can see that these edges are all isolated. That is, I can do some move that will move just that edge and it won't move any of the other edges that I've already moved. So if this is our X part, then I can replace this isolated piece in a Y part. So I'll replace it with this piece. And then I can undo X and then I can undo Y. And you'll see that it created a three cycle. So these three pieces went around clockwise. And that principle, even though it looks obvious on this puzzle, that principle applies to really any type of piece on any puzzle. If you can isolate it, and then you can replace it. So let's isolate a piece, replace, undo, undo, and we did the opposite. So if you look at you look at this and you do X, Y, undo X, undo Y, then it's always true for every commutator that if you start with Y, and then you do X, and then you undo Y, and then you undo X, you'll have done the inverse of the commutator. So if we wanted to do a clockwise sequence, there we did a clockwise sequence. Now if we want to do a, a counterclockwise sequence, then we'll just do the commutator in reverse, or the inverse of the commutator, and it will do a counterclockwise sequence. Um, so it, as I said, that principle holds true for all puzzles. Now I just showed you, you know, a really basic sequence, but since it's so easy to isolate a piece on this puzzle, there's really no reason why you need to limit yourself to just that, that type of three cycles. So we can bring this piece over here. So this purple red piece, we can bring it down. And then we can bring, oh, say this blue green piece over here. And then like that. And so we created, you know, sort of a much bigger three cycle. And since they shared this piece right here, they overlap by just this piece, then that creates the red, purple, white, light blue, and then blue green three cycle. And of course, you know, we can do that and then we can, I don't know, bring this piece up from here and then we can undo that and then bring that piece back down and you know, create a three cycle, a little bit more complicated of a three cycle, but basically it's all based on the same principle. And then the other type, so this is a permutation uh, commutator. The other type of commutator is if you can isolate a piece, so here's a edge that we've isolated, if there's some way for you to take that edge or take that piece out, change its orientation and put it back in place, then you can change the orientation of two pieces. So here we go. So we're going to take that piece out. Here it is. We're going to change its orientation and then we're going to put it back. So now it's in that slot backwards. Then we're going to undo our X part and then we're going to undo our Y part. And we have just changed the orientation of two edges, and we did it in eight moves. Now, 
the, is easy, you can do setup moves, for example. So if we want to change the blue, white, and then the purple green edge piece, then we can place the purple green edge piece right there. So we set it up in the spot that was occupied by the white and green. We, now it's occupied by the purple green. And then we can do the exact same thing. So change its orientation, and then put that back, and then undo our orientation change, and then undo our setup. And there we go, we just changed the orientation of this edge and this edge. And that setup principle works. So if we want to change the, let's say we want to do the orientation of this edge and this edge, and they're right next to each other. So if we use a setup move like that, we put them across from each other, then we can do, okay, so now we've isolated this piece. So we need to flip it around. And then now we need to flip this one back. And there we go. Now we've changed the orientation of two adjacent pieces. So that's an orientation changing, orientation changing commutator, and the other one is a uh, permutation based commutator. And even though it seems sort of obvious and simple on this puzzle, you know, it's really because it, x is a length one and y is length one, and you know, undo x, undo y, it's sort of really easy to follow. Those principles will work regardless of how long x is, how long y is, as long as you can do some isolation, it will work. So we've been working on the Pyraminx, so let's switch back over to the Starminx and we'll take a look at the Pyraminx crystal edges on the Starminx. So let's do our isolating commutator, our 1-1 one, one commutator. And we did indeed create a clockwise 3 cycle in the edges. We also broke these points and this, this, these centers and it, we don't really care because if we're only going to be solving just all of these edges, and we're not going to be paying attention to the centers or the points, then it doesn't matter if we broke them or not. So the simple on the Pyraminx crystal commutator that is complicated on the Starminx still does the exact same thing. So we could ignore all of this complication and we can just pay attention to these edges. And so we can also do the orientation changing commutator. So let's bring that over, bring that around, bring that back around. Okay, so we actually flipped the orientation of the white blue piece and the orientation of the white green piece. We also broke some things, but we don't care because all the other edges on this puzzle are intact. So using that, you should be able to solve, well at first what you'll do is you'll probably solve all the edges sort of intuitively, you won't bother to use any three cycles. So you know here we've got this white green piece, and okay now we've got the white brown piece and I'm, I'm just sort of ignoring the fact that uh, I'm just sort of ignoring the fact that I'm, we're not paying attention to the color scheme right now so if we want to bring sort of this this white blue piece over here so let's bring that white blue piece so we can bring it in okay so now we've got the white brown white blue and white green piece and it, I don't know if this is the right color scheme or not but you, you sort of solve you know sort of via intuition at first and then when you need to when you need to start a result to three cycles and, and to orientation changing commutators, then you can you can do so toward, towards the end of the solve. And, and using those principles, you should be able to solve all of the Pyraminx crystal edges on this puzzle um, without any trouble. And when you do so, all of the centers will still be broken, and all the Starminx points will still be broken. And so I'm going to discuss how to solve those next in, in the next video.